Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Red Bull Ring. We are getting ready to go for day two of round eight of the Formula Regional European Championship by Alpine. Qualifying two is already getting underway. Josh Dufek started from 10th and finished in second place. Fantastic day for him uh, yesterday. He's really been coming on form in uh, recent rounds. He's now up to 11th in the championship as well. And he's starting to come into the fight for the rookie title as well. He's only five points uh, back now from Sebastian Montoya. And 20 points back from Leonardo Fornaroli. So if Josh Dufek has a race like he did yesterday, then you'd have to say he could be a huge contender for the rookie title going into the last two rounds. Do not count out that man. It just shows what a huge run of confidence can do for a driver. A fifth place, a sixth place, a, tenth place, a couple of tenth places, and a podium. It's been his run of form in the last three rounds. Hugely impressive stuff from Dufek. It's, Dufek is flying. Dufek absolutely flying. Josh Dufek right at the front of the field. Right, this is it. This is their last opportunities to improve. And Josh Dufek is challenging for pole position. After finishing second yesterday, he's trying to get himself onto the front row of the grid today. I'm not quite sure if they're going to beat the time of Hadri and David, but still, whoever is quickest in this group will start at least from P2. Josh Dufek, after finishing second yesterday, getting his first podium and first rookie win, he will start from row number two. Josh Dufek could be on the hunt for the overall rookie lead. We are getting ready to go for round number eight, race number two here at the Red Bull Ring. To the left of screen is Dino Beganovic, and to the right is Hadrian David. And we are go at the Red Bull Ring. And a great start there from Hadrian David. A staller, unfortunately, at the back of the field, but everyone else off and away. And David leads us through the first corner. A battle going on for third place there. Dufek having to defend from Tangavelu. Tangavelu to the right of screen there in the green and orange, trying to go round the outside of Dufek. Dufek, Dufek holding his line on the inside, and Dufek has held on to third place. Down through the final corner, we go across the line, safety car deployed. With Josh Dufek up in third place, Josh Dufek can close that gap down. Dufek is only 20 points behind Fornaroli in the rookie standings. As it stands, Dufek is going to score 15 points, Fornaroli is going to score zero points, so that gap will close to just five points. Dufek will move up to second in the rookie standings. He's on a real, real charge. He'll go into the top 10 uh, overall uh, as well in the championship, doing a superb job here. Dufek is the quickest of the top three, though. Dufek on the attack there, you can see him. Third in queue in that Van Amersfoort, makes his way down through turn number four, and Joshua Dufek not having any of this, wants to get involved in this battle. Up they come over the crest through turn number one. There's Josh Dufek running in third place, the top rookie so far, on for a double rookie win, potentially. Josh Dufek doing a, a really good job to hold his own here amongst two title contenders. He's in between first and second in the championship is Josh Dufek. And he's doing great to hold the gap. Josh Dufek is the one that's a little bit closer now to Dino Beganovic in second place. In the background, Beganovic is now under pressure from the rookie, Josh Dufek, who seems to be lining one up here. Are we going to see an attempt from the Van Amersfoort racing driver? Got his first podium yesterday, and now we want some more. Here's Josh Dufek, we see, in the number 13. Third place in between the drivers, as I said, first and second in the championship. Gabriele Mini wants him either out the way or down the inside of Dino Biganovic. Are we going to see Josh Dufek do the latter? Dufek in third, trying to hold that gap to Gabriele Mini in fourth place. As they come now down towards turn number four, is Dufek going to be able to hold him off? Does Gabriele Mini have pushed to pass? That's the question now. Dufek really strong on the brakes there down at turn four, isn't he? 
and it's back-to-back -back podiums for Josh Dufek and back-to-back -back rookie wins for the Van Amersfoort driver. He is absolutely on fire at the moment. What a sublime drive from Josh Dufek. And how about Josh Dufek? One of the drivers of the weekend as well. Two rookie wins and two podiums as well. Having come into this weekend with none for the rookie title. I think that's actually the more exciting title fight than overall. Between that man there, Josh Dufek, he's six points back from the rookie leader, Leonardo Fornaroli, going into the final two rounds. Third place then for Josh Dufek. A superb weekend for him. That's all from the Red Bull ring. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this weekend. Make sure you join us a double header to close. We begin it with Barcelona on the 15th and 16th of October. For now, it's goodbye.